What's up guys? In today's video, what I'm going to show you how to do is to change the rear shock on a Ford Fiesta Mark 6. Now, this could possibly be the last video that you'll ever see of this car. No, it's old. It's done so many miles. It's getting a little bit unreliable and a lot of things need to do which are quite expensive. And also I want a better car. So, I need to do this because I still need the car for now and the rear shock has pretty much exploded so I'll show you in a minute once I get it off how to tell if you need a new shock so let's get straight to it first things first check the car up and make it safe for that cross stance Done next thing, remove the wheel. Like we're needlessly tight. Hopefully, you can see all this here that's not wet or water, that's oil. Where the shock has basically exploded. So that's why we're changing it, because essentially it's not dampening the spring anymore, so it's bouncing. So what we need to do is remove the wheel arch. And all there is is these clips. And what they do, they just prise off, and that's it basically. Sorry about that. Hopefully that'll be enough now to gain access. All we've got to do is remove them two bolts and that bolt down there at the bottom. However, before we do that, we need to just, just uh, we need to support the bottom of the shock. So what I've done there is I've just took the pressure off the spring. Otherwise, once we remove this bolt or the other two, it'll shoot down and the spring will come out and we don't want that to happen. So these are 15 and an 18 mil socket. I think that nut's welded on there actually, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Now, these two nuts up there, can't really get you in. It's dark and there's no space, but they're 10 mil. Really uncomfortable doing this on the floor. Let's see if this works. And here we have the we have the old shock. As you can see. Not spring them back at all. Maybe have the new one. But before we can all install this, there's a couple of things that we need to transfer. So what we need, we need the mount, the bump stop, and the cover. I shouldn't do this. This is just a normal socket on an impact, but needs must. Thankfully I've managed it, using a pair of ice grips to hold the top. There's a couple of flats, oh God. there's a couple of flats machined into the top of the shaft for you to grip it. And there's our old shot. And that's everything we need off the new one. For the new one, sorry. Can do the same again with this one? with the vice grips and then just tighten the nut down There we go, now this is ready to be mounted back in the car. But the first thing we want to do is just compress it a couple of times. Don't worry about this oil coming out of there, that's the old residual oil from the ruined shock. Ideally, you would replace all this, but I'm probably only going to have this car another month or two, so don't really see the point to be honest. So now, time to get this installed back in the car. Now, when you're tightening things like this up, always make sure that you've got it started before you use anything like an impact. Because if you cross that, it, it's game over. I'm going to run it in with the impact, not all the way. Just 
смогрел. And then tighten everything by hand. That way you know you're not going to snap the nut off. I can now get this arc liner back out the way. And to install them clips, easiest way. This is just use a socket top, you push it on, that way you don't bend it too much. And as you can see, it's now installed again. So the last thing to do is to install this bolt. Now you might need to just use a pry bar to help you line the shot up so that you can actually get the bolt. There we go. You need to make sure that these are tight. Oh, there we go. So I've got these tightened up. Last thing to do, put the wheel on, take it off the jack stands, take it out and give it a go. There we go, guys. That's how you change the rear shock on a Mark 6 Full Fiesta. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Didn't take me very long at all. So it's a job that you could really do yourself, you know. Minimal tools and equipment needed. So, like I said, this could be the last video you see of this car. It's getting pretty unreliable now, and I want to upgrade. So, the next car I'm getting, you know, I've got a ton planned for that car. And I'm going to bring it along, show you how to do everything I'm going to do on it. So, if you enjoyed this video, so I'll catch you in the next video. See you later. And goodbye.